I mass at times, and I followed its migration and how everything changes from original to where it is now, and it's migrating just like we did to the Hebrews journey, right? So it's going to change, and if you follow the cycles, and this is the other thing, these cycles are embedded in nature. So every king had five names. I have this in my lecture. Those five names reflect the five cycles or the five patterns of the sun. Like uh, birth, right? The sun as it's rising, and then midday, and then noon. Shadow is consciousness. It's always noon. It's noon. Then you go, and the sun starts to set. That's the highest state of consciousness because we're coming out of gnosis, pure knowing. And then we devolve and we set, and that's a moon, right? So every king had five names to reflect these cycles. They're labels. So the king's names are labels. Ramses represents the age of Aries. So all the Ramses were the age of the ram. When you see the ram-headed sphinxes, that's representing an age of Aries. Aries phrases, I am. So Ramses II showed that he was important everywhere. But it wasn't him, it was the priests. Writing his name, erasing it from the other images, and putting his name on there. Because that's Aries, that's what we do. We pronounce, we are alive, we are form, right? We fell into form. And then we become Pisces. We start to feel the currents again. We start, hmm, there's something here. I can feel energy. But we still don't get it until Aquarius when we dump the energy out of the container. That's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing. It's happening now. Nothing happens in one day. There's no December 12, 2012. It doesn't work that way. It's we process, process into it. But what we're going to see now is as the wings of Isis and Nephet fall, which is the, the magnetic field of the Earth, and if you go do your homework, you'll see it's been doing that exponentially since the last hundred years and sped up recently, uh, along with the magnetic excursion that's happening quite fast now. As those wings, as that happens, and like I said, it's decreasing rapidly now, we're getting more radiation, and the radiation is affecting, and it's also connected to the breadth of the center of the galaxy. Right? Hello, and that is the great Is this right? Yeah, there you guys are. I was looking for Jason. He's up here. Oh, he's going up on the roof. Let's right now, see. that breath from the center of the galaxy is actually hitting our solar system. And it hits our solar system. And this is science. This isn't me going woo woo. This breath, it's radioactive breath from the center of the galactic radiation, right? From the center of the galaxy, just hit our solar system. They're guesstimating in 2017. That's why this is so important. That's why I'm screaming this information now. I used to just study it and research it and tell my groups, but this is important. So this breath could be causing what we know as a COVID today, because radiation, more radiation is coming in to the Earth, to, to our atmosphere, and that kind of radiation causes all the symptoms of COVID. So think about that. That's one thing. Where it's also going to speed up. It's affecting everything happening on every planet in our solar system. There are things, strange anomalies happening to Venus, Jupiter, you name it, they're all going through vast changes right now. It's predicted that we may do a, a huge magnetic excursion or possibly a flip. What I showed you in there was a flip, and they're saying it happens every 12,000 years like clockwork. Ben Davidson, check out Suspicious Observers. He is a scientist, and he has traced back that we have a cataclysmic event every 12,000 years, like clockwork. Now, it's not exactly 12,000 years, because it depends on how the galaxy is spinning. If it's going to hit you maybe at 11,000 or 12,500, but it's always in that general framework of time as we perceive time. So it's always happening, because that's how it has to happen. We have to perceive both ways in order to come back into center. That is that is the cycle of nature. Everything that breathes in nature breathes in the cycle I just showed you. So why would, why would our galaxy be any different? As above, so below. This is what they told us. But there, the powers that be aren't telling us this. You don't think they don't know it? This is the, why we need seed banks. This is why we do the things we do, because we know that we're going through a sun cycle. We are going to have solar flares. But what I always say, when I tell someone like Susan, I love Susan, and we've talked about this on every level, and she's with me, but she'll go, Patricia, if what you're saying happens, like the magnetic field goes down, or she says that will burn everything up, we won't be here. 
But I say, what are the wings of Isis and Nepheth? They are the veil of forgetfulness that they talk about all the indigenous cultures. We are born through the veil of forgetfulness. We forget who we are, right? Because the veil is magnetic field. But the wings come down, I'll show you upstairs. That's the resurrection, right? So the enlightenment from the galaxy, yeah, it would burn me up if I thought I was a body. But if I remember I'm not, then what happens? That's the key. That's what they're trying to tell you. Remember who you are. Hakeem used to scream, just wake up. For God's sake, wake up. That's what they tell us all over the world, but we don't know what that means. And it means wake up and remember who you are. Bring all your separated aspects of self back to center. Because when that happens, when that flip happens, if you know you're not your body, then you can walk through it a totally different way. Really quite We obviously aren't destroyed, <laughs> right? We come back to do it all over again.